Yes, I'm Roman, and right now we are currently in Luxembourg, a city that is located in the northwest of Europe. It is bordered by Belgium on the west and north, France on the south, and Germany on the north, east, and east. Luxembourg is a point of contact between the Germanic and Romance language communities of Europe, thus resulting in their having three official languages. Luxembourg is German and French. However, Portuguese and English are commonly spoken among other languages. Let's go. Cathedral Notre Dame was built in the early 17th century in late Gothic style with a number of attractive Renaissance features added later. Notable features of what is the country's only cathedral include the two original choir bays dating from 1621, along with its three distinctive towers, one of which, the West Tower, dates from the same period. Also of interest are the intricate sculpted Baroque angels around the Organ Tribune, also dating back to the early 1600s. A remarkable structure indeed. The only way to appreciate it is to see it in person. Guzerzolek Palais, the Grand Ducal Palace is a gorgeous renaissance building which dates from 1572 and serves as the official residence of the country's reigning monarch Grand Duke Henri. While it's still the full-time home of the Duke, the public is permitted an opportunity for a peek inside during special organized stores. However, recording is not allowed and you have to pay. <laughs> National Musée für Gesicht à Kunst, or MNHA, is the National Museum of History and Art. The MNHA's collection includes art objects, archaeological findings, 
furniture, tools, coins, arms, and documents dealing with the history of the country. There's a particular emphasis on the Gallo-Roman period, with numerous fine displays illustrating the artistic, social, religious, and intellectual life of Luxembourgers from the 16th to the early 20th century. Place Guillaume II is one of the city's largest open spaces, however the site is currently under construction and therefore I was unable to actually see it. Nonetheless in this center is the equestrian statue of William II, King of Holland and Grand Duke of Luxembourg. That ends our trip here today in Luxembourg and it was quite fun. It was a bit difficult because my phone still is not working. And so I have no idea, no idea how to get home, except I will have to get a physical ticket. Outside of that, uh, it wasn't hard to navigate the city because everything was literally really close, right in the square there in the center of the city. And one thing I appreciate, or one thing I particularly like, is that everyone seems to be almost bilingual or trilingual. That's simply amazing for me. It seems like the city for polyglots, like myself. So if you think you're a polyglot, then you definitely have a great time here. Another interesting fact is that it is estimated that around 47% of the inhabitants here are foreign residents and if you were to include those who come here just to work and go back home then that would add up to about 70%. So for example, you have a lot of Belgians and French people come here just to work and go back home because it's here you earn a lot <laughs> and then you can go home and live a better life. Nonetheless, I enjoyed my time here. So again, if you like Luxembourg, come here, check it out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Ciao.